Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I want to show you guys how you can actually write notes straight onto your video clips in DaVinci Resolve by using marker annotations. So if you don't already know markers, you can find markers on the toolbar. Over here, you'll see them as uh, blue. The one with the arrow that goes downwards is the blue, and the one that has a little triangle cut out is actually a flag. The difference is if you use a flag, it marks an entire clip, but if you use a marker, it's going to mark a point in time and that can either be on your timeline like you can see here I can apply it right there and a blue marker appears at this exact frame of 20 seconds and 13 frames in and if you have nothing selected and you hit the marker button then you can actually create a marker that goes on the timeline of course the difference is that if you attach it directly to the clip it moves with the clip if you ever delete it or move it around so these markers by default you can double click on them give them names notes and change the color of them that kind of stuff but what we want to talk about in this video is how you can add annotations to the screen basically where you're able to scribble around and write whatever notes you want on the frame of course it doesn't show up in the final output only during editing and how you do that is that you use the viewer overlay and you set it to annotation mode so the viewer overlay is found over here on the left you can also toggle it on and off by hitting shift and tilde that's generally the thing that looks like an apostrophe under the escape key either way with the viewer overlay you'll need to click on the drop down menu and change it to annotation mode so when you're in annotation mode you'll get some tools that appear in the top part of this preview window up here so if i left click with my mouse with this default pencil tool i'll be able to draw around so the first tool that's selected by default is something like a pen tool where we're able to left click and start drawing lines around on the screen in a freehand fashion so if i left click here i could say cut a border from this area that doesn't have that many trees and separate that from the areas that do so whenever you draw these pen lines you're actually able to left click and drag it around if you were slightly off in your positioning so you can move that now using the pen tool here isn't going to be particularly good if you wanted to do something like write some text message onto the screen if i start writing characters you'll see that as soon as i let go it's going to change to a cursor mode i can go kind of go to the right here to start drawing more so if I wanted to complete an H or something, I could do that. But it's not as easy to draw a line, let go, and then start continuing with a new line and writing things onto the screen. Maybe if you did it in a cursive handwriting fashion where you don't lift the line so much, that would work a little bit better here. So, I don't know, something like this. But generally, this is going to be more useful for just indicating things that are happening in the video with drawing lines and shapes. So beyond that, there's actually a drop down here for the freehand pen tool. You can change the thickness. So we had the light thickness selected. We can go to a medium thickness there and then an extra thick at the bottom. So you can see the differences there. On the far right, you have the ability to change color. So maybe we wanted to change to green so that it's uh, pretty visible over here. You can also see I changed the color of this uh, thick line we created. So if you left click on a line and then you change the color, it's going to apply to that line which you have selected. And that also applies to the thickness. So we can change that to a thin thickness or medium thickness or the large thickness. Now, in addition to your freehand drawings, you also can draw arrows really easily. Click on the arrow option and then left click and put an arrow where it needs to go just like before you can left click on it and change the color so although you can change the color uh the arrow seems to not have different thickness modes but that should be fine you can also draw a solid line with no arrow pointing there by left clicking and dragging the line to where you need to go so if you need it to be perfectly straight that will be handy there and one more important thing to note about annotations is that you actually don't need to create the marker ahead of time. If you go to a random place in the video and you start drawing on the screen with annotation mode, and uh, by the way, you can use shift tilde to toggle that on and off. So you can leave it set as annotation mode and then just turn it off when you don't want to accidentally write anything. But we can go to this random point that has no marker, deselect everything in the timeline so that the marker we're going to create goes up here on the timeline. And then we can use something like the rectangle tool in order to drag a box. So as soon as we let go, it's going to create a new marker that's assigned with this annotation. And we can double click on the marker just like any other marker. And uh, 
give it a name and some notes. You may also notice that when you double click on a marker that already has an annotation that next to notes there's this annotation icon. If you left click on that and you're not in annotation mode it automatically switch on to annotation mode without you needing to change the option over here. So you can start uh, editing once again. So let's add let's say a orange line now. So I'm going to bring it from that river area to over here and let's say that you wanted to create a new line in a different color but you wanted to do that without changing the color of this one. So if I went up here and I just changed the color right now, in order to prep for the new line, it would actually change the color of the existing line. So what you need to do is to just left click away um, somewhere distant from the line you just created in order to deselect it. And then you can go to the color drop down, pick a new color, and then go ahead and drag your next line. So that's pretty much everything you need to know for how you can draw onto your video clips at marker points using annotation mode in DaVinci Resolve. So that's going to be it from me. I've been Chris. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in my future video content.